Boop, boop. All right, let's go. Let's go to make dinner. I better not drop my phone because I don't have any protective gear on it right now. So I just gotta make my way downstairs without dropping it. Hermagerd, going downstairs. Hermagerd, 44%. Hermagerd. Oh, it's dark down here. I did not turn the lights back on. Whoops. You do, you're old. <laughs> yeah, I guess sometimes I need sleep too. I gotta go sleep in like an hour and a half. <laughs> Oh, uh, where did my thing go? Oh, right here. Oh, crap. I didn't charge it last night. Crap. Hopefully it has enough charge for tonight. Oh, it's green. Okay. Should be good. There we go. All right. So, let's open Tasty. You can just sleep in, you know. Oops. Barbecue chicken. Perfect. All right. So we need parchment paper. Let's get all the stuff out first. Parchment. Chicken. We aren't using rice. We're using thigh. Okay, I'll see how this goes. I won't cut anything off it probably because I know you can't really cut much off of this because there's just not much already. Uh, small potato. It's kind of small-ish. I think it's the smallest I could find. Potato, uh, onion, we got an onion, uh, barbecue sauce, olive oil, sleeping in doesn't help the being tired now though. That is true. Preheat oven to 400. Let's get the oven preheated. Bake. 400. There we go. Okay. So then we're also going to do some steamed carrots tonight and some pasta. Trying not to do too much pasta, but didn't know what else to do tonight. And carrots. Okay, so let's get it out a pan, a pan. I like it when I can just use the same pan over and over again because it's clean by the next day. It's so nice. All right, there's the pan. Baby Ray's is the best store brand barbecue. They are, and we got the one we got is Honey Chipotle, so it's even better. Okay, so I want to make sure I get big enough piece. And that's probably way too big, but oh well. Uh, let's get the mandolin out. I don't want thin. I want thick. Go like that. Put this one away because I don't really need it. And we'll give this a quick rinse. Doesn't need to be perfect, just a quick one. So let me actually grab a knife and uh, whatever this is called. I don't remember. Why can I not remember? Cutting board. <laughs> Cutting board. Bloop. Don't tell Zach. Shh. Alright, and then we're just gonna do this. Or... Okay, let me grab the topper thing so I don't cut myself. Zach cut himself the other day on this. You're off to bed since you're tired, old, grumpy, and wake up a hundred times a night. All right, Grant. Thanks for playing for us today. I'll see you tomorrow. This is not wanting to work properly. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Why are not working? Jeez. Barely any of these are coming out circular.
Maybe thick is too thick. Too late now. It's like you gotta go fast, but even when I go fast, it's just like, no. So yeah, and then you go like this, and go like that. I'm supposed to be able to hold it. Jesus Christ. We're gonna put the rest of it. <laughs> That'll be fine. It's fine. <laughs> God dang it. So professional. Oh my God. All right, that's whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Have a good dinner, I will. Good night. All right, there's the mandolin. You're annoying me, so don't annoy others. All right. Okay, so it says fold the parchment paper in half and then open it up. So fold in half. So then Put the potatoes on here like this. Like that. I'm gonna put all the potatoes in here that I cut. I don't know why I tossed the rest away. I'm just tired, so I'm just like, eh, just toss it. Don't need it, won't use it. We probably would have. That's all right. No one tell Zach. Zach shall never find out. All right. I'm gonna have to lay down a cup of potatoes, draw, drizzle olive oil, and sprinkle salt and pepper. All right. Oop. There we go. I think that's kind of drizzled ish. Salt. That should be good. And a little bit of pepper. Oopsie. There we go. Let me do something real fast, actually. I don't know why they're talking about karate chopping next, but okay. All right, and then on top of that, you put on the chicken. Okay. I'm just gonna do, I'm doing this for Zach. I love you, Zach. All right. I think this also just salt and pepper on top, right? Season with salt and pepper and barbecue. I'm also gonna put a little cayenne pepper in there too. Just rinsing off my hands again. Come on, salt. Okay, there's the salt. Pepper. Cayenne pepper. It says barbecue sauce. Let's put, let's move these out of the way. I'm trying to keep everything cleaned up a little bit. So then it's easy. Okay, barbecue sauce. Okay, cool, that's the, the little 
nozzle top. Come on. Why you gotta do this? There you go. I think that's probably good. Let me spray around with the spoon a little bit. be pretty good actually. Whoopsie. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I think we got pretty much covered. Got a good little layer. Salt and pepper and cayenne underneath. Paper towel to clean that freaking mess up. Always makes such a mess. Okay. And then it says to cut onion thinly and place on top. Which I have the knife now still. Ah, there's the knife. Okay, yeah, I'm only using this knife with veggies, nothing else. Okay, so now let's get this top layer off. So it looks a little weird. So I'm going to do that and go about this thick. Um, we'll do three slices. I think that should be enough. Kind of mainly just doing the outside pieces. And if I need more, I'll put the inside ones on too. But I think just the outside will be enough. I might throw the little inside pieces like around on the what is this stuff called? Uh, what is this called? The potatoes. Go kind of around the edge. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I just threw away the plastic baggie for that. I thought I threw the one away for freaking uh, the. Oh, what is that called? The chicken, but that was for the onion. That is my bad. I'm not digging out of the trash, because that is gross. At least to me it is. Um, is that 3.50? Holy smokes. I cannot read that, 3.55. Holy smokes, I don't know if that's my eyes or if that's the stove letters. Okay, so set the full parchment and push the paper over. So, all right. Ooh, don't do that. Luckily, that is empty. Okay, that is ready to roll when the oven is ready. So let's get carrots ready real quick. Whoopsie, don't you go anywhere. Let's do one, two, three carrots. Three should be good. Let's 
carrot freaks me out. <laughs> I'll use that one later. I can't do it tonight. I just can't. I'm sorry, carrots. I know carrots can be ugly, but I just can't do it. All right, so let's grab, oh, is that already red? Yep. So let's just hope I can get through this quickly. Is it this one? Yeah, this is what I use. All right, so let's get you flip flopped. If worst comes to worst, I can plug it into the wall. Whoopsie. Oven is ready. Whoopsie. Gonna wait for just a minute to get that in. Well, actually, no, let me get it in now. Chicken's ready early. That is fine. So 25 minutes. Power two, five, zero, zero. Start. All right. It has been a long time since I've had to peel carrots. But super simple. And as long as you're careful, you can go pretty quick. I feel like I'm kind of a pro at this. Say this as I cut myself, you know, that'd be great, right? Maybe if I turn on the other light, it might help a little bit as well. Look at how quick that was. Nice and easy peasy. Let's bring it back up here a little bit. There we go. All right. Knife is not very sharp anymore. before I cook or make stack sharpen it. That's right. You want to try and make the carrots about the same thickness so they cook the same amount of time. Let's pull a little thick on that one. That's all right. There's one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just ignore that. No, not a big deal or anything. That carrot just rolled right in front of my knife. It's like, I kind of need to slice down. Please get out of my way. Don't try to save the next cut because it's still going to happen. It's either in my way or not. Ooh, of course, nice and hot. There we go. Okay, let's up real quick. Boiling with hot water makes it boil a lot faster than it does with cold. Because it doesn't have to reach. It will, it's already part way to the temperature it needs to reach to boil is why. There we go. There's two. And steam these to the, the consistency you like them. I like mine soft. Some people like theirs with a little bit of crunch. I know Zach does, but I make them soft because I eat more carrots than he does. Because I like the carrots more. Okay, there we go. Got a nice amount of carrots. This and this can both go in the sink. 
to be washed at a later date. AKA tomorrow or tonight or something like that. Okay. Whoop. Okay, so let's take you over to this one. Get you heating up nice and hot. Okay, and then what do we need for the pasta? So we need in a medium saucepan, bring water, milk, and butter to boil. So let's just get this heated right now. So one and a half cups water, uh, three quarter cup milk. So we just need to use the three quarter cup if we have one. So we have a quarter cup, so we're going to use the quarter cup. Okay, so we got a quarter cup right here. So it's one and a half cups water. So that's six of these. I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Gotta get that back on the heat. All right. And milk. So we use Zach's milk with this because he has whole milk. So we need three. So it gives it a little bit of a creamier taste. Because I do fat free. Three. Which I need to get freaking lid for the other pan. Let it pot. Here we go. Lid for that one. And butter. Or margarine. Which we use, I can't believe it's not butter. So is that margarine or? I don't know. I just get a good estimate of two tablespoons. I don't do exact amounts with the butter. Because that part's just not as big of a deal. Take okay, one. That's about two. Perfect. Okay, so now let's go start boiling. So it says medium saucepan, bring that to boil, then slowly stir in pasta and special seasonings. So let's just get this going nice and hot. Pull out the special seasoning pack. Boop. Grab a spatula. If I can find a spatula. There you go, spatula. Alright. Chicken still has 17 minutes. So you guys watch that. Get get it ready to boil. I'm gonna put some dishes away real quick. So I have to pull it open every time after we clean it. it. Holds like a tablespoon plus of water. It's kind of ridiculous. Is 
Is it boiling yet? It doesn't look like it. It has to boil within the next, oh, seven, eight minutes. So we can get everything in and just have it done right about the right time. If I can get everything done at almost exactly the same time, that would be awesome. I feel pretty proud of myself, actually. Do you know how hard it is to time everything just right to make sure it's all done? It's very difficult. That's one thing that chefs do really well. And you need to give them a lot of credit for us when they have everything done at exactly the same time. Okay. Why do we have so many freaking containers today? I don't know. Butter's starting to melt though, so that's good. Butter, margarine, whatever you use, whatever you want to call it. Whoop. Little trick if you didn't know. Use the pot handle for that. Oops. Just needs to boil. Maybe I should get over the heat a little better. That might help it get there a little bit quicker. doing chores except for feeding the cat and that's fine need to take care of my kitty cat just need you to boil make sure it's up high enough No, it's tricking me. It's messing with me again, isn't it? I'm trying not to stir it too much because I want it to heat up and boil, but it needs to be stirred so it doesn't burn to the bottom. It's... Come on. This is the hardest part is getting this to boil so I can get the noodles in to cook. It needs enough time to cook. Oh, 
Let's see. We can read the back of this, though. Let's see. Nutritious size. Two ounces of... About two thirds cup dry pasta and two tablespoons sauce mix. Servings per container, two point five. Let's see, calories two hundred. Oh, as packaged as prepared is three hundred. We'll just do it as prepared. Total fat nineteen percent. Whoo, hello. Cholesterol two percent. Ouch. Sodium twenty seven percent. Potassium seven percent. Hmm, potassium's good. Carbs, 13%. Dietary fiber, 7%. Sugars, 3 grams. Protein, 7 grams. Wow. That's a lot of your thiamine and roboflavin if you need that stuff. Make it a meal easy as 1, 2, 3. 1. Stir broccoli florets during last 5 minutes of cooking. Add cooked ground beef or turkey during stand time. Top with shredded cheddar cheese before serving. Yum, yum, yum. There we go. There's the boil. Now I need the special mix in. The special saucy mix. Cheesy sauce. Try and do it over so I don't lose any of the cheese sauce. After I get this mixed in, I'm going to check the carrots and see if they're about done. Get this all nice and stirred so the cheese can get all throughout rather than just sticking to a couple of the noodles because, yes, that makes the noodles, a couple noodles very cheesy, but then it makes the rest of them miss the cheese. And we want them all to have the cheese. Come and grab a fork. And needs a bit longer. Kind of thought so, but I'm not sure. And I'm getting water all over my stove top. So I need to turn on the fan a little. Clean up the nice hot water <laughs> off my stove top. Keep this stirring every now and again. Yum. Those numbers are moving really fast, aren't they? chicken thermometer so I could check the chicken make sure it gets hot enough that should be good got seven more minutes should be plenty plenty good ooh seven delicious corny recipes Yum, yum, yum. There's a reason why I follow Tasty. They make really good stuff. That's where I get majority of my recipes, actually. Need to be sponsored by, should be sponsored by Tasty. Like, I do, I, I live stream so many of your meals, just like, tote sponsor. No, I'm kidding. I wouldn't ever make them do that. That'd be really cool, though, to be sponsored by Tasty. Oh, I'd be so excited. Oh, I'd be so, so excited. There's so many spon different sponsorships I would love to have. Uh, what is it? Astros would be cool. Dr. Pepper would be cool. DX Racer would be cool. Logitech. So sure. Well, hello there, Rar. How you doing now? And yes, the egg cooking. It's not as exciting as my most of the nights, but it's a nice, simple meal that anyone could cook at home, probably. Whoopsie. Got a little bit on the stove top, though. We're just doing some nice, easy noodley noodles. Got some, what is it called? Carrots. We got some chicken in there. Yum, yum. 
How have you been since the last, like, hour since I've seen you? <laughs> God, hour, hour and a half. It's amazing how fast time flies by. Oh, actually, I should pull up the game on Twitch. What's that? Which one? We got the noodles, carrots, and then chicken. Barbecue chicken. Uh, Twitch. Probably turn this off. It's kind of gone down a little bit. Let's see how the guys are doing. Let's see. What you doing? What you doing? 43,000. Commercial in process. Progress. Please stay tuned. Okay. I don't have fire remote or anything. Commercial in progress. Okay. You can't show it on the iPads or something? Okay, I'm not going to put that up anymore because the sauce is dripping down the handle and it's getting kind of annoying. So I'm just going to go like this. Don't you be blinking at me, you little power bank thing. you got to last for this stream. I'm sorry I didn't charge you last night. That's my fault. I feel so bad. I have a fork right there. Four minutes. You just gotta last me for four minutes and then you can die and then I should be able to make my phone last for the rest of the time. I don't know how long it will last with the blinky. Not done yet, not even close. I dropped one on the floor, gosh dang it. Keep that song down a bit. Come on. Carrots I'm gonna turn off, but I'll just let them sit there for the next three minutes. Oh, it just takes so long to cook stuff. That's the one issue with cooking. It does seem very yummy though. I'm hoping the game goes back and Seahawks are winning. I want Seahawks to be winning. That'd be cool. It is very yummy. Especially the noodles, because these are four cheese swirl noodles. Spiral noodles. Look at that, spirals. Look at those spirals. That, that's what makes the pasta so good, are spirals. They're a fun shape. That's the most important part, is the fun shapes. Crap. Packers are up 21 to 17. Come on, Seahawks. You're only down by four. You can still win it. Why am I watching this? I don't know why. But apparently now I'm watching... I, I now watch freaking football. Alright. Blame my family. Blame my parents. Because I don't think the game's done yet. I don't know, though. I might be wrong. Oh, if that's the final, I'll be so sad. Doesn't look like it's done, but I don't see how much time it has left in the game. Come on, can you show us? Oh, it's at halftime. It just passed halftime. Okay, so it's just going into the second half. Wow, dang. So it'll probably go on for another couple hours, huh? Ooh, it's going to the Packers, too. Damn. Okay, let's see how this is tasting. Like, obviously it tastes good. Just want to make sure the noodles are all the way cooked is about it. All right, Rar. See you in a moment. Mm -hmm. Go and turn this off and just leave it on the heat, but it should be just about good. Yes! 
They barely stopped him right past the line, which is perfect. Not even a first down. He might have gained like a yard if that. Come on, Seahawks, bring it back. Bring it back. Whoop, whoop. Wow, that was really fast, Rar. <laughs> Whenever someone says be right back, I always expect them to be gone for like five, ten minutes. And then they come back in like 30 seconds. I'm like, oh, hello. Welcome back. There we go. All right. That's the chicken. Goats McToats, how's it going? Yeah, Seahawks. You were playing Fortnite, <laughs> Fortnite, <laughs> and you died? Oh no, how did you die? Did someone shoot you, or did you just fall too far? I don't think there's any fall damage there, is there? How's it going, Goats McToats? cooked. Going good. The game is dude <laughs> football. The game is doo doo. Food is bet food is better. Okay, so everything should be done. Okay, let's see what I need. I need a knife and a fork. I have football just kind of on in the background right now. Uh, on, Seahawks is my team, so I want to see if they win. Well, thank you, Goats McToats. It does look good. It sounds good. It is a ch not a chicken breast, but a chicken thigh, so that makes me a little bit nervous. It's definitely cooked, though, by the look of it. Let's go right here because that's a little thicker. Pretty sure that's cooked. Pretty sure. I grabbed one plate again. I need two. I do that a lot, I feel like. So this one will be mine. Okay. And then let's get some potatoes on both of ours. I'll just work on his first. I'll give him the bigger potatoes because he'll, he'll eat more than I do. Pretty sure that's done. I think it's just the coloration of the chicken. The coloration of the chicken throws me off because it's not breast and breast looks a certain way. Whereas this looks complete. That is either done or not done. Oh, I can't freaking tell. I think it's done. I think that's just the fat. Let's see on this one how it looks. If not, we're gonna get sick. <laughs> Hopefully not though. Let's just cross our fingers that we do okay. Throw a couple of these on my plate. It all looks pretty good. That's the thing with, uh, what is it called? Thighs, they're also bloodier. They have like more vessels in them. Ah, stop falling apart. No! It's falling apart! this up with a fork. I could get a spatula, but I really don't want to dirty another dish. <laughs> How long did I cook it? 25 minutes at 400 degrees, which normally with breast, you do 
20 minutes at 350 so I'm pretty sure that's good uh, you hate onions you like soft onion but not the hard one these are not hard anymore because I have cooked them for so long okay so this one is mine there's just a little bit of noodles on there let's throw noodles right there then go over here and throw some on here Okay, kind of out of room. I'm gonna pick this up, and then I can have enough room. And I spilt some on the floor. Lovely. Okay, so is that? Let me pick that up before I step in it. Because if I step in it, I'm not gonna be happy. Uh, that should be good. I would imagine. Yeah, I would think so too. I don't know how to cook. LOL. I only know how to cook instant noodles. You eat chicken powder too. It's a bad hobby. Uh, I I don't mind cooking. Obviously, I know how to, I know how to follow recipes pretty much. Okay, I need more room. I'm a recipe. I'm very much a recipe follower. Okay, uh, I need a plate for this. It just makes it a lot easier. Uh -huh. crap, 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 hot. Why does that have to be so hot? Something is wrong with you. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Eat what you can. Eat what you can make. As long as you eat, I say you're pretty much okay. Just make sure you stay healthy. That's all I say. That's all I really care about is trying to be, just making sure to stay healthy and whatnot. Okay. There we go. There we go. I like carrots, so I'm taking a lot of carrots. plate of food what is healthy in today's standards mac and cheese is great well, I think I know how to cook mac and cheese the only food I know how to cook mac and cheese is great it is this is kind of mac and cheese here uh, what is healthy in today's standards I don't know uh, enough to keep yourself alive I guess but this is okay ish I try to eat a little bit healthier you love to cook carrots? Yes, carrots. Yes, raw carrots. I love carrots too, especially cooked ones. I don't like the raw as much. I used to only eat carrots and cabbage with some rice and some soy sauce. Ooh, that's yummy. So egg rolls and Chinese food. <laughs> Sounds about right. That's what it. That's that's what that stuff is, right? And then what I also like to do, I like to get. It. Where did I put it? Here it is. So I have this Mexican seasoning called Tajin. I love this stuff and I'll put it all over my carrots and it is delicious. Delicious. Burp, burp, burp. So just get that all over. It's just a good seasoning to put on. Now I'll probably grab some, uh, oh, what's that called? Ketchup for my potatoes. Hmm, but it is good. Now let's check the noodles. Ch 
Chinese food here tastes like crap, in your opinion. Like Indian food and Mela food from SG is bae. But mother or grandmother cooking is the best. My mom taught me how to make her fav famous uh, it's called beef stroganoff. And I actually made some improvements on it too, I think. So. Mm. I made Zach like beef stroganoff pretty much. All right, let's try the chicken. Probably gonna get rid of this piece because this is, this right here is nothing but fat. That is all chicken fat. So that, maybe not the bottom piece, but that's all chicken fat. I am not eating a bunch of chicken fat. Uh, Chinese sucks, food sucks here too. Used to be great back in the day. You don't really eat Chinese food. Neither do I. There's probably a couple places here. Nowhere. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That that looks very pink in the video, but it's not. That's pretty good, actually. It's not too bad. Not my favorite flavor of chicken, but I'll eat it. Taste cooked. You love chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. I like chicken quite a bit. I can't really eat much red meat. So instead, I eat a lot of chicken. Okay. I always give myself the smaller pieces because Zach eats a lot more than I do. Can we eat chicken medium rare? No, 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 no. Don't know. Oopsie. Let's do something real quick. Down to 27. It's like the stream just ended, but it didn't. Um, there's actually a place, I think Japan has started making uh, chicken and sushi. So, sashimi. So, raw chicken, which is nasty. Chicken is okay. You like red meat? Yeah, I, I'm not really supposed to have red meat, like, at all. So, I tend not to eat it too much. And I'm sorry about the lagginess. Something happens whenever I flip over the camera and just makes it laggy as hell. Japan food is, yeah. Except for sushi. Sushi is good. I guess technically it's weird, but it's good. Good word. Mm. You only eat sushi, yeah. Sounds about right. Alright. So dinner's good. Carrots. Really good. Because it has Tajin on it. Try Tajin. It's amazing. It's actually Mexican fruit seasoning, but I haven't used it on Mexican fruit at all. So I like it on carrots and noodles and uh, zucchini and stuff. It's it's good on veggies and fruits and stuff. Sushi with tuna or cheese is the only thing I can eat. You hate raw food. Yeah, I can. The only raw food I can eat is sushi. All right. So, my food, chicken chop is what you're. What is chicken chop? I don't know what chicken chop is. Oh, there we go. That's my activity feed. I didn't say go to the activity feed. Alright. So, guys. I'm going to end this here. I'll go eat my dinner. Watch the game. Uh, chill. Relax. Etc. Etc. So, thank you guys all for coming and hanging out and chilling. Uh, made some more delicious food as usual. Uh... Might be back again tomorrow. Not sure. I'll keep you updated. I'll post it. So guys, thank you all for coming, hanging out, and I'll see you later. Bye!